everybody, Laura here. So glad that you're joining me today. I've got a couple of fun, colorful projects to share with you for Alta New. I've got two of their brand new stencils here. And this is a project that I made for their latest stencil release blog hop. And many, many people want to know, how'd you do the rainbow cube background? Well, I'm going to show you. It's super duper easy. Peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, so I'm starting with the Cube Builder stencil. I've got some all to new inks. I'm starting with Midnight Violet. Going in with my ink blender. I'm just doing two rows. You can see that the stencil, this Cube Builder stencil, it's basically rows of diamonds. And so all I do is I go row by row in rainbow order. Easy. So I started with Midnight Violet, then I do a row of Coral Berry, and then I will do a row of Orange Cream. Oh, I forgot to mention, I do go a little bit try to get a little bit darker in the one corner of the diamond, like the top or the right corner of the diamond. That just gives it that little touch of gradient, little added interest. You don't have to do that, but I always like to add gradient if I can. Last color I'm gonna do is Warm Sunshine. And I'm not gonna go all the way up to the top. I'm gonna just go until I feel like stopping. So now I'm gonna clean off my stencil. Now I'm gonna rotate my stencil. This time the diamond shapes are going straight up and down and I'll begin ink blending. This time I'm starting with Lavender Fields. So it's a lighter shade than Midnight Violet. Now I'm doing a row of Frosty Pink, which is the lighter shade from Coral Berry. And then for the orange, I use Sunkissed. Look at how effortless this is. So we're building that three-dimensional cube look. For the final one, I did Buttercream, which is the lighter shade from Warm Sunshine. And you can see really, honestly, how easy this is to build this fantastic cube pattern. I mean, when I first tried out this cube on my uh, blog hop project, after I got done, I ran up and I said, look at this. I showed my family and they were like, oh my gosh, how did you do that? And they just thought I was the bomb. And I'm like, you guys, it's the stencil. And it makes it, it's so easy, but it makes you look like you really know what you're doing. It looks like you're an expert ink blender, cube builder, geometric background making machine. And look at how simple it is. Don't you love stuff that is so simple and the results are astounding? I mean, look at that. I can't even handle how gorgeous that is. Now I'm moving on to the next background using the grid stencil another new stencil i'm starting with midnight violet again and then i'm going to add some dark deep sapphire ink i'm kind of going in a purple blue gradient background so i did midnight blue sapphire persian blue then in the middle i'll do some caribbean sky and i'll finish it off on the top with that light arctic blue color so beautiful gradient grid background pattern there. Now for the images, I'm using the baby zoo animals. These sweet, sweet little elephant and a giraffe. I'm gonna ink this up with the light gray ink. I actually inked up the animals with two shades of gray on the top lighter and then along the bottom of the legs, a little bit darker ink. Then I add the detail image with the darker gray ink. For the giraffe as well, I inked them up with a light yellow buttercream and then a little bit darker on the legs with some warm sunshine. As well, I believe that is caramel toffee for the detail of the giraffe. Then I'll take the coordinating dies and die cut these sweet little animal images out. Speaking of animals, our family is wanting a pet big time. Like a dog, a cat, a monkey, you name it. I'll take a pet fish at this point. I really don't care. We just want something and we got to convince dad is what we have to do. We have to convince dad. And okay, so I, I stamped that beautiful word sentiment from the Simple Flower stamp set. It has a coordinating die. I went ahead and embossed some sentiments on black strips with white embossing powder for both cards. The ones from Simple Flowers and now the Baby Zoo Animal. That sentiment is from Baby Zoo, the Baby Zoo stamp set as well. Um, just to finish it off, I couldn't resist a few sparkling clear sequins here and there. And these cards are finished. Look it. These are one layer, people, one layer. But you use these fantastic stencils, you can make amazing backgrounds. All you gotta do is slap, slap on a sentiment, maybe a couple cute images, bada boom, bada bing, you got yourself some adorable cards. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time.